Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've already gotten started. I've got on some Gel Stay Gel Smooth Base from Revlon, and I'm wearing this Tux Polish, and it's called Ashes in the Cauldron. It's very nice, dark gray. And I've done two coats of that and top coated it without the door so that it would dry. And I'm going to be using some Super Dry today. I'm going to put out some on my little mat. I'm going to be making decals. And I'm going to do a couple of thick layers on my mat um, and let that completely dry. And I didn't really let it dry in between the layers. I just kind of did a pretty thick layer or two kind of thick layers over this. Because I'm going to be doing some stamping and making some decals. But today it's going to be a little different. But I'm going to set my timer for 30 minutes. And I'm going to let that completely dry because I want that base coat um, to be totally dry. Because I'm going to be using this nail foil. And you can get this on eBay or pretty much anywhere. And I've just already cut it down into some little strips. And you have to work fast when you do this. What we're doing today... Oh, and this is the You Are Beautiful 07. What we're doing today is I'm going to be doing some stamping and then putting the foil directly on top of the stamp polish and rubbing it down real quick. And this is, um, I guess they're calling it foil stamping. And this is my very first try at it. It's a very interesting technique and um, the results can be absolutely gorgeous get my plate all set up here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Turn off some lights so I'm not blinding you. I'm going to be using this Born Pretty Black Stamping Polish and my Fabio Nails Little Blue Stamper and my Creative Shop Scraper. I'm going to go ahead and get some paint on this image and <clears throat> then I'm going to scrape it. I've got my foil ready because you have to work really quick with this. I'm going to pick it up, stamp it down, and plop that on immediately. I mean, if you waste any time, it's going to not do. I've had lots of fails trying to get this manicure to actually happen on my nails. And I'm going to go ahead and peel this decal up very carefully. And the first time I saw this um, technique was on Sassy Shelley's YouTube channel. And I'll put a link for her below. And this was a long time ago, and then I forgot about it. And there we go. Look how pretty. And then I saw... Cassis P do it and I thought I've got to try that and um, and of course I forgot about it again I'm going to trim a little of this extra off and then here recently Jalicious did it and I was like okay I've got to try this so I put stuff out on my table to make myself remember and so um, I'm definitely going to give this a go oh I grabbed the wrong thing I'm going to put a layer of the super dry down. I'm going to use it kind of as glue. And since my nails were totally dry and this the stamp was totally dry, I wasn't able to just kind of stick it in place. I have to do the glue and I'm going to get one shot at getting this on here. Um, and I'm going to push it all down with my finger nice and snug. And I'm going to call this a success on this, but I'm not 100% happy with it. I wasn't able to line the design up really good on my um, nails, but it still got there, and I, and I definitely got to give this one a sh shot. So I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup, and this is some messy cleanup. When I do decal work, I don't know why I always pick these 
dark colors that like to get everywhere, but I do. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup here with my little Sonia Keshuk tools and my acetone. I'm sorry, I'm out of frame again. I promise, guys, I'm working on it. I'll get better. <laughs> And for me, cleanup's huge because um, if I seal something in with the top coat, then I'm just kind of stuck with it and it'll make me crazy. So I am pretty persnickety when it comes to my cleanup. And on this, I'm just kind of tapping the edges to melt away the rest of that excess decal that's sticking off. You don't want to really rub it. You just kind of want to tap your brush down into it and let it just let the acetone do the work. But I do really love this technique, and I'm definitely going to play with it some more. I probably should have played with it before I made my first video, but I just couldn't wait. I was scared that it would sneak by me again, and I would forget. So we just jumped on in there. We'll just learn this one together. And I probably was being a little overzealous doing all ten fingers with this. I I think next time I do it, I'm just going to do an accent finger. And I'm going to put some of this um, top coat on it, the Picture Polish Revolution. It was, it's a water-based, I believe it's a water-based top coat, but it says on the bottle that it's four foils. So, um, and I didn't notice any crackling with it. So I'm just sealing that in. And that's the only reason I bought that. Get your polish just because I wanted to get it go. There's my archwood stick. You guys know I gotta break that out. So there we go. We got one more to do. And I'm telling you, at this point I was really thinking about leaving that one dark gray accent nail and let that be my accent nail. I got my little stamper done and I'm gonna push that down and rub it, rub it, rub it. And if you don't wait until that base coat that you put down on your mat's dry, it's just going to, all the foil will stick to the whole thing, and it's just a mess. And if you wait too long, then it won't stick, you know. It's just, it's, that's why I put the timer on. I did, did some timing, and 30 minutes for that base coat seemed to be perfect. So, here we go. We're going to pull this one up. And right now, it does look like the whole thing is just, totally covered in the foil and it's all shiny but I, I assure you it's definitely just the design my camera and lighting just really pick up on that shiny stuff and foils are super shiny kind of like a hollow I'm doing some more of my super dry using it as glue But I am going to leave links, like I said, for Sassy Shelly, um, Cassis P, and for Delicious, so that y'all can go check out their videos. Um, they did some really amazing work, and I don't know who originally came up with this technique, but I told y'all the order I spotted them, and, and I always want to give credit where, um, where I learn things or or where I um, get ideas. If, if someone has inspired me, then I want to pass that on so you guys can go see the originals, or to me, the originals, the first people I saw do it. Go check out their videos, and they're much better at explaining things than I am. And I don't really look at my channel as a tutorial channel. I just kind of like a couple of girls sitting at the kitchen table painting their nails and I'm just sharing with you guys what I do and um, showing you what works for me and uh, it's really how I look at it it's just some girls sitting at the table painting their nails I'm 
but a little bit more cleanup on that other one. But I really did get a lot of compliments, even though I wasn't 100% happy with this. Um, I got loads and loads of compliments on it, and um, really, I really thought that was cool. And I will definitely do it again. I think maybe next time I might try using um, gel polishes and seal it in with some gel top coat. Because after this dried down, it kind of looked matte. I mean, that's not really what I was going for, so I wouldn't, wouldn't really into the matte look of it. Okay, guys, so there it is. What do you think? Let me know if you've ever tried this technique. I'd love to hear what you think about it. So, guys, until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you later. Bye.